Hi, I'm David Faustino, and I play Mako on The Legend of Korra. So, what was it like watching Mako evolve as a character throughout the seasons? It's been great, man. Um, you know, one thing, it's like going into this, you're like, oh, I'm doing a voiceover for a cartoon, you know, and, and that was my thought. And um, then as you read these scripts, you know, it's like, it feels like you're reading a mini feature film every time you read the script because um, it's that well written. And um, so to see the evolution of these characters is great and to watch Mako sort of go from the confused guy between Korra and Asami and all of this stuff and now to watch him focused, although now this prince has come into his life that he's having to deal with, which is a bit of a distraction and challenging. But uh, the, the characters are so deep and the writing is so great, it makes our job very simple. How do you think um, Mako as a character changed after meeting his family in the Earth Kingdom? I think it softened him up a little bit, you know. Um, I think it just gave him that warmth and that closeness of family that he hadn't had for so long. Uh, and probably, you know, remembers what's important. What can fans expect coming into the fourth season? Uh, I think fans can expect, first of all, it's going to be a great season. I mean, there's so much to come. Kuvira is going to be a, is going to be great. It's probably one of my favorite villains, if I'm allowed to say that yet. Um, and, uh, you know, I can't reveal much. Plus, we record so far in advance, I can't remember much. Mm -hmm. But um, it's going to be a tremendous season, and it's going to be a great wrap-up. Um, have you uh, gotten hands on the new video game that's coming out for Legend of Korra? So, as video games go, I'm the, I have had a PS3 sitting on my, in my main, you know, on my entertainment center for the last four years. I've probably used it twice, and that was to play DVDs. Um, so the Legend of Korra game is coming out. I got to voice, you know, the character of Mako and do some of the hits and the punches, and the, and that was great. It was my first time I've ever done it. And then we got to go see some of the um, the images and, and the animation. And I think, look, if I was a gamer, I'd be playing it. And, and if you're a Legend of Korra fan, they're really going to put you into that world, and it, it's going to be great. Awesome. And just one uh, quick question. What was it like jumping uh, from, because from book three to book four, it jumps three years into future. Did that, uh, did you have to do anything special for, for Mako for that jump? Um, well, you know, the whole time, because I've played, you know, Mako's younger than me, obviously. Um, and I've been, I, I registered him just, just slightly, you know, higher up than I would talk. And uh, now I'm just talking normally as I would. Okay. So, yeah.